Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome to the first episode of this brand new Let's Play series. And today we're going to be starting up with the tutorial and the basic components of the game and one single player attack. So let's start with the tutorial. And as you guys can see, as the tutorial runs behind on the screen, let me tell you guys something basic about the game, how the game works, what the game is about. So this game basically Clash Clans is a strategy game. It is basically when you attack people and get resources and people attack you back and they get resources as well. So what you guys need to do is just keep on gathering resources, keep on upgrading your defenses, your other buildings and keep on progressing in the game. And there are other things which are going to be unlocked in the game later on when you go into a higher level of your town hall and everything else. So as you guys can see on the screen right now, there is a goblin attack going on on our base and it is like a part of the tutorial which is really good like it is a self explanatory tutorial but I just wanted to clear it all for you guys and like tell you guys how the game works what it is going on what is going on and everything else so as you guys can see right now we're getting some wizards from the ivory tower I was really I really like I always uh, wonder where these wizards come from and it's like really I, I want to see something good Supercell doing something good about this the wizards from the ivory tower maybe something new something like that so let's go ahead with the tutorial so we are doing a first attack on the goblins and uh, I I don't want to use all my wizards because they're not really needed all the wizards so I'm gonna save up two wizards and go ahead with it so that was the first attack and we got a victory three stars so the basic component is that when you get one star you get the when you get one star you get uh, like when you get 50 percent you get one star when you uh, clear the town hall you get two star and when you clear the base 100 percent you get three star so let's go ahead with some builder huts and let's continue with the tutorial so as the tutorial goes on i really wanted to start this let's play series and i finally started the series i want to be posting i'm going to be posting about a video every day and today's video is going to be a big a bit bigger than other videos other videos are going to be shorter than 10 minutes but today's video was like a tutorial as well as other components of the game so it is going to be a bit bigger sorry for that guys so let's go ahead with the tutorial and we are building our first barracks here so barracks are uh, basically the things which uh, you can probably make your troops out of your barracks and oh sorry that is a elixir collector and there is the elixir storage we are also going to be making our barracks so the elixir collect elixir is basically the thing which is required to uh, cook your troops so whenever you cook your troops you are going to uh, get cost of elixir to cook that and I don't really use gems in the game like I, I believe using gems for all these things is gonna lose you're gonna lose your gems so keep on saving your gems for everything and you're gonna be using bad gems for better things in the future so keep on saving your gems do not use the gems in the tutorial although they force you to use the gems do not use the gems and keep on saving them up also so now we've made a gold storage and this is like the part of the tutorial where the goblin comes and attacks the gold storage but fails so that is going on and we're gonna make our barracks i don't know for some reason we, were we should be making a defense but we are making a barracks and the goblin is gonna attack us so that is something weird okay so the tutorial is going on right now and after the tutorial gets over i'm going to show you guys some basic uh, things on the game so what the main screen is about what are the things on the main screen so basically you have the gold and the elixir the goal is uh, is going to be useful to upgrade your defenses and other things and the elixir is going to be useful to upgrade your troops and upgrade your army camps and everything else and your town hall which is your main building is also going to be upgraded by the goal so basically you farm for gold and elixir and you save it up and you're also going to be unlocking dark elixir which is going to be really late in the game which is going to be after town hall 7 so you don't need to worry about that right now so right now we are making some troops and the goblins are going to be attacking us and i'm really waiting for this stupid tutorial to get over because i want to show you guys how it is how the main screen is and this is the clan castle actually which we need to rebuild which we are going to be rebuilding uh, probably later on in the fourth or fifth episode so that is the clan castle and after you rebuild the clan castle you can enter into a clan and make your own clan 
and do clan wars and all that things this is the town hall which i was talking about so you whenever you upgrade your town hall you unlock new things in the game so higher the town hall higher the amount of things you have that is the cannon and then the elixir collector then there's the army camp and the elixir storage then there's the barracks which is currently cooking barbarians for us then this is the gold mine which uh, which generates gold so that is really useful the mines and the collectors are really useful and that is a gold storage which is going to store your gold so the mines and the collectors basically generate gold after every uh, few minutes so that is really important to keep on upgrading your mines and collectors but make sure you don't really rush them out because the more you upgrade them the more storage capacity capacity they're gonna have so that is also one thing which you have to keep a check on and this is the battle map which has the single player and the multiplayer right now we can't do the multiplayer because we are in the tutorial mode and we're going to be doing a second attack in the single player on the goblins and you can just put a finger on the screen and put, get all your troops in the battleground and attack i'm still not going to be using my wizards because i really feel using them later on in the game is going to be a better option so let's just see we're gonna be getting three stars here because we already uh, cleared up the defense only the one archer tower which is there and that is all done so we got three stars here and that is all over and we've got about 500 gold and 500 elixir trust me guys looking at this this is like really really less from what i have on my main account and we've got the tutorial yeah so we've got the name now and i think we're gonna put it as like warlord youtube because this is going to be basically a account for the let's play series so let's put it as warlord yt that is warlord youtube and go ahead with it so that is the main thing and as the tutorial i think the tutorial the first town hall upgrade is going to be in the tutorial so we're going to upgrade a town hall now and that is going to be the town hall level 2 that is really nice so let's go so whenever you upgrade your town hall if you guys can see you unlock new things so you've unlocked like one elixir collector one gold mine one barracks one archer tower so you upgrade a new thing every time you um, upgrade your town hall you unlock a new thing sorry so you unlock a new thing every time you upgrade your town hall and that is really nice so right now we've got a lot of resources with us and finally we've got the tutorial which is going to be ending now so that is the achievement thing the achievement panel where you can see all the achievements which you do and for every achievement you do you're going to be getting some gems and some experience out of it so keep on doing your achievement that is the best thing the best way to get gems in the game so keep on saving up your gems and keep on doing the achievements to get more and more gems so that is the end of the tutorial and okay i'll get the notifications all right so the tutorial is done and this is how the main village is that is all the rubbish around the village and we need to clear that and to clear that we are going to get a lot of gems and experience so that is going to be really nice and let me show you guys how the main screen is this is the main screen this is the trophy panel where you can see the league which you are in and we are going to be getting into a league soon only after 400 trophies we can get into a league so we're going to be getting a new league and this is the top clans where you can see the global which is the first clan in global and the local as i'm in australia the local is going to be australia if you're from any other country it's going to be the same country so you can see the top players as well global and local and that is really amazing so and then you can see the friends but only if you connect to facebook which i have not really done and this is the chat this is the global chat on which you can chat with other players on the network in the clash clans community and this is the clan chat which is going to be activated only once after you go into a clan so that is going to be activated later on and the global chat is like whole of the clash clans community every player on clash clans can be on the global so you can do that and this is how, as i told you the battle uh, panel where you can attack multiplayer and now multiplayer is active because we can do that but right now we've got a shield for about three days so when you start a new game you get a shield for about three days so right now the multiplayer thing you don't need to uh, just break the shield you can keep the shield so that you get to a level where you can defend your base and this is the single player on the other side then this is the shop 
where you can buy things so whenever you upgrade your town hall all the new things you've unlocked are going to be in the shop and you need to build them every time you unlock them so this is the resources panel where you can uh, buy elixir collectors gold mines and build them and build this hut and everything else so everything is going to be unlocking at a different town hall level and you're going to be getting a lot of things this is the army area where you can get the barracks the barbarian king the barbarian king is really cool these are the defenses you can get these defenses on different different town halls and right now we can get cannons archer towers and walls then you can go on to the settings which is just above the shop so the settings basically is just a basic uh, thing like a settings about the music and the news which you get the new updates in the game which you can see and new promotions which are there you can see them in the news so that is about the settings and then i already spoke to you guys about the achievements which you can do so let's go ahead and get something out of the shop so first of all let me just build let me just cook some barbarians so that would be nice and we've got two wizards so we can only get 12 barbarians out of it now what are we gonna do so i think we should go ahead and build some more things yeah let's build some let's let's build a barracks out of it first so the barracks basically makes troops for you and the more barracks you have the faster and the more troops you can make that is nice and then let's go ahead and build some elixir collectors and gold mines elixir collectors are as i told you are really useful to generate the elixir and gold mines are useful to generate the gold so that is really nice let's build the gold mine And I'm not going to be using my gems for all this because this is like 10 seconds so that is, that is okay I can wait for it and then let's go ahead for defenses alright let's what are we gonna do yeah let's go ahead with the cannon let's go ahead with the archer tower and we've got only two builders right now So here we go we go up to level two now and let's the walls right now are not really required because there's a lot of rubbish on the base right now and walls at this stage are not really important so let's not go and build walls we're going to be building them later on in probably the sixth or seventh episode so right now we're going to be focusing on just this so we've built everything out of the shop and now and that is enough so we're not going to be getting anything else except for walls out of the shop so let's go ahead and build the barracks and unlock the archers so the more you upgrade the barracks the more troops you unlock so if the if you upgrade the barracks to the next level you can unlock a new troop so this time i'm going to be unlocking the archers the next time i do i'm going to be unlocking the giants and so on and so forth so you keep on unlocking a new troop when you un when you upgrade the barracks and you can use them for your battles so our archer tower is done and what we what should we put the build on all right so i'm gonna be getting some gems and i'm gonna i really want to thank a friend who really helped me but for setting up this new account for you guys in this let's play series and i want to i want to thank her if you're watching i'm not gonna tell her name on the video but i really want to thank her and if you are watching this thanks a lot and we've got 1449 gems so let's go ahead and get our third builder and we get i think we get it for 500 gems yes we get it for 500 gems and the third builder is done but i think we're gonna just gonna be 51 gems less for the fourth builder all right so i think i'm gonna save up some gems and then i'm gonna be uh unlocking my fourth builder because i don't want to buy gems i don't really buy gems so let's just wait and save up some gems and maybe i'll unlock them in the next or probably in the third episode so let's go ahead and do a second single player attack because we really need some resources to upgrade other things in the game so basically if you see the red area and the thing in between where you can put up your troops is really nice and your barbarians are really struggling so let's put up the wizards 
I didn't want to use the wizards. I don't know for some reason I didn't want to use the wizards right now, but I had to use them because the barbarians were struggling with the cannons. That is fine. We've got two stars now, and we're gonna be getting three stars real soon. Yeah, we've got three stars now, and this is not enough. Actually, not enough. But that's fine. We've we've got like two thousand gold and probably one thousand ten hundred. The elixir. All right, so let's go ahead with the arch tower. Upgrade the arch tower and get some more barbarians in our army camp and we've got all our three builders on something so that was it for today's video guys i'm gonna see you guys in the next video really soon which is gonna be tomorrow i'll see you guys in the next video if you like the video do like share and subscribe until next time clash on